Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's me, it's Alex, and it's the Ramble. We go till midnight tonight. Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, Having a nice night, are you? Having a good evening? Well, it's a good way to cap it off, okay? We'll have some fun for the next little while, so just stay right where y'all are. Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, and occasionally we uh, try to fill up the first half hour of the show with something, uh, and uh, this is definitely something. I don't know what it is. It's something or another, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Phil. How are you? Well, thank you for having me on tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I look forward to this once in a while. Next, mm-hmm. next week is a, another photo week. So uh, I was uh, glad to be on. Don't worry, we have something planned. So. Good, good. Uh, what What are you going to do? Cover the photo shoot? No, no, no. We take it as a blessing. We just don't do anything for the first half hour because without you here, it's a total waste. Uh, you know, I I thought about it and I I was wondering why you don't highlight some of your other regular get, uh, uh, callers on that on this first half hour why you know because some of them are very interesting i know they're very interesting i can name one who's very interesting jeff and charlie and uh, even tony magno uh you know i mean you could probably yeah but so i don't don't interviewer. tell me how to run the show i will put on who i want to put on and i have well, enough people to kind of fill those wednesdays just this week i didn't you oh, know, okay. I've got Lori now, and I've got Chuck Farnham, and I've got Albert. Is so I'm doing a thing with Albert tomorrow. You know, very nice. so so I have to have some place to put them. You know, well, I'm I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, hey, so uh, how how you been doing? Uh, you know, we'll talk about I, the medical. I actually, first. well, uh, well, no, I I something happened. I don't know what, but my back the last couple of days has just been terrible. Really? Yeah, I've just had this terrible pain in my in my hip area, and it, today it was bit slightly better, getting better, and probably tomorrow it'll be a lot better. But I mean, it was just horrible, and I don't know how it happened, but I think it happens because sometimes you sleep wrong or something, yeah. and you throw your back out. So, I mean, yeah. I was just uh, I I haven't been able to leave the house because I don't think I can walk a block. Wow, yeah. uh, I remember uh, a few years ago you were having some issue with uh, uh, the nerve. What, what's that nerve that goes all the way down through the leg? Oh, well, that's uh, a sci- a sciatic. Nerve. Sciatic nerve, yeah. Uh, could could that? Uh, uh, well, actually, pop- I had a pinch nerve many years ago. It was just yeah. god awful, you know. And I was young then, so you know. But yeah. no, it just I just really really hurt, you know. And uh, I, I'm okay when I'm sitting down like this. I'm not going to be in pain for the show. But when I stand up after the show, it's not going to be fun. You know? No, so. I, I understand. We're getting, well, you're getting old and I'm getting older. Uh, you know, I've been doing uh, some pretty strenuous exercise. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been doing uh, squats with a barbell on my back, you know, maybe 115 pounds. And I have a torn meniscus, uh, medial meniscus in my left knee. Uh, I have been in excruciating pain. I can't do squats. You know, so yeah, it, don't don't fool around with the torn meniscus. No, I, I, I had yeah. one of those, and you have to be very good to it for about a year. Yes, you know, before it stops bothering. And then, you, then you'll be okay. Then you'll be okay. You know, yeah. but uh, uh, no, I, those are terrible. They're horrible. I, I, torn I, I refer to it as being angry. Yeah. So <laughs> if my knee is angry. Well, I mean, I just never have had back problems. I leave that to Marjorie. You know, yeah. she's had these back problems. And uh, all of a sudden, I mean, it was so bad that I I just, I was, I don't know, we've been taking walks lately and I can't take a walk. Uh, huh. You know, 
Uh, it's it, my walking's getting a bit difficult for me. Not as easy as it once was, but I don't yeah. mind slogging on uh, as long as it is in pain. And this was just my God, it was horrible. But I'm, I'm better. I'm better today. I took an ibuprofen and it helped. And then tomorrow probably it'll be even better. So I'm I'm probably going to be able to get out soon. So, well, that's good. Hey, uh, I'm doing something. I, I spent some serious money uh, to to give it a try. Uh, I'm doing Gaines Wave Therapy. Do you know what that is? What is this for? ED. Erectile dysfunction? Yeah. Uh, well, it's nothing I've had any problem with until, say, the last year, and it's at a point in my life where I really don't give a crap. Well, you know, I I still figure I have a few years left, and I want to. Oh, at you your know, age, at your age, I was still, you know, still active. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the the thing is, you that's, know, the, that's the a sign. That's, that's a male sign of erection. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right up there. You know, tr Trump does also, that. Trump does. It that. also means power to the people. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, what uh, what it is is it's a uh, it's a machine that they're saying that breaks up the plaque and uh, allows for better circulation. Which Where is did you hear this crap on the radio? <laughs> and how much is this going to cost you? Seven thousand dollars. Forget it. Just don't even don't even. I already start. paid the money. You're you're a moron. I've had four treatments. And for the first time in the morning, there's a little bit of wood when I oh, pee. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a little bit of wood when I wake up, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that, I didn't have that I can, before. I can get half an erection, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, they did all that prostate stuff. They did it with you, too. Right. Don't, boy, they, they were the biggest con going has always been this erectile dysfunction stuff. Well, yeah. I, I figured, uh, you know... I, I, what do I have to lose other than seven G's? Well, that's, uh, a, you know, you could spend it on something a little more interesting, you know? Yeah, but if it works. Hell, uh, hire a hooker and let her do the work. <laughs> really? But if it works, uh, it, it'll, it'll be an improvement in uh, quality of life. How many treatments have you had so far? Uh, four. Four. And how many treatments are you supposed to have total for the $7,000? 22. 22. So you should be a quarter of the way there. You should have a quarter of an erection going right oh, now. And uh, do you? It, and do you? Uh, uh, no, no. But, uh, you know, it, it, it takes time. They're also going to do I something. Got, I got to remember you when I want to create some kind of sucker scheme. Yeah. Yeah, they're also going to do something else that uh, you cringe when you think of it. It's called PRP. And what they do is they take your blood and they separate the platelets and then they inject them back into the member uh three times where are you don't fall for any of this stuff phil uh, you know uh come on you're I, more intelligent you're more intelligent look, than that i i said to myself but if, you won't listen I, to me you won't listen to me on any of this uh, yeah. no, no, no. But you're, you you're see, gonna but, go and do what you want to and, you know, I, if you want to flush your money down the toilet, I've got a great toilet here that you can use. It right. doesn't flush very well, so there'll be some Probably money left over fixed. for me. You know. <laughs> well, you know, my thought on the thing was, uh, if I don't do it, I'll never know. And if I do it and it doesn't work, I can say I tried. And, uh, you know, uh, the quality Well, of you must make a lot of money off of carpeting if you can throw your money away like this. And even well, if I was making making your kind of money okay yeah. uh uh i don't think i would ever think about doing what you do with it well uh you know that, that it wasn't that much i mean it was cheaper than the camera and uh you know i figured hey you know it's something that uh, they say uh, may work uh i i know the reviews are mixed but i i thought that uh you know this is something that affects people as we age and as we have medical Let me put issues. it this way. It may not be as expensive as a camera, but at least your camera has a zoom lens on it. <laughs> that works. It works. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, since this is, uh, there's a bunch of topics out there, and I really, you know, wouldn't mind getting your take 
on on some of these things uh and you know having to talk to somebody from my side of the bench mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay uh, and in and in no particular order let me let me just give you a couple of a couple of topics and you pick the one that you want to talk about okay mm -hmm. you got uh trump in the polls uh you got trump's courtroom loss you got santos's arrest you got the subway guy and the mm -hmm. choke out guy mm -hmm. uh you got title 42 at the border in texas mm -hmm. Uh, you got the debt ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the Biden investigation mm -hmm. and uh, what's going on with uh, uh, the uh, Congress investigating them. Uh, you got the Nazi shooter uh, Garcia, 33-year-old guy kicked out of the military uh, in Allen, Texas. And, of course, there's the homeless problem in San Francisco. And... Uh, what else? And the Bud Light beer debacle. So all the things you've talked about, I get to choose from. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Then let's talk about Phil not being able to get an erection. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's uh, that's par for the course. I mean, is, isn't that kind of like... You know, I, I, I came to terms with that. Because, you know, yeah. when you have that prostate thing, folks, a lot of people, like, if you're a little younger, what I had shouldn't do away with my ability to get an erection but at my age yeah okay and uh i never had a problem with that never ever i mean once once in a great while it would happen with some woman i really wanted and then yeah. i was so excited that it didn't happen but that's a common occurrence among guys but for the most part never had a erectile yeah. dysfunction at all in any way shape or form and now that i suddenly realize that i have it Mm -hmm. I don't care, mainly because how many years did I have when that thing was working beautifully right. with some very f interesting partners, okay? It, but let me ask you this. If there was a way that you could restore that part of your life, would you want to do it? No. Well, I do. Not at that price. Uh, well. No, no, but you're the you're the sucker for it. You know, I mean, the thing about people, guys not being able to get erections has become a fraud industry for years. I mean, I can probably go back to like some comic books from the 20s that in the yeah. back have ads for erectile dysfunction. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, didn't that guy that you knew, the, the, the porno guy that's in jail now, uh, the one that didn't oh. like you leaving mean, it? Ron Jeremy? Not Jeremy. Uh, wasn't he selling pills for a I, th I think so, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I always consider that just, uh, that, that just, I think it's evil when people do that, to be honest with you. I think it's taking advantage of men and making something more of a problem than it is, you well, know? What, 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 what causes an erection? It's 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 blood down there and it engorges the penis, right? Yes, but it also has something to do with y your uh, y your mental ability to to bring it up as well. And the thing is that like once they've gone to work on your prostate, it lowers your s libido. That's really yeah, what. Oh, you absolutely. Look. I mean, if, if my my libido is lowered, okay. Yeah. I well, mean, my, they lowered my testosterone on purpose when I went and got the radiation. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, because the testosterone feeds the cancer, but testosterone, I think also, testosterone is a uh, is an Italian dessert. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, it comes in three colors of ice cream, uh, and <laughs> so. But the uh, the the idea is that uh, I also take blood pressure medicine, diabetes medicine, all these other things well, that those things uh, those things affect you too. Yeah. 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 But, so, yeah, you know, I figured, hey, you know, I, I am bearing some personal <laughs> information, but I, I think that it could be helpful to, you know, many people. I'm sure there are a lot of other people that listen to your show that are going through a similar thing. And, you know, I can understand you being skeptical of it, but I'll, I, I'm not skeptical of it. I realize that it is actually a con job. I mean, this is fraud. It's Plain and simple, it's fraud. Uh, you know, it's if, one that Santos hasn't done yet. Believe me, believe me. If this worked, yeah, you'd really hear about it in the news and everywhere else. I mean, the, you know, there are pills that you can take which will aid with erection. 
Okay, yeah. those work, but you mean like Viagra and Cialis, like and, Viag Viagra and Cialis. Yeah, well, but what, I even what, I still take Cialis. Uh, oh, for the uh, uh, for the prostate. Well, you know, I don't have problems with the prostate cutting off. You know, whatever. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I take it still to see if it will help with the erection. It doesn't really, you know, no. you know, so. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, look, I'm 83 years old. I'm very, I, years and years and years, up until about three years ago, no problem getting an erection. And I've had a wonderful time with that lovely prostate of mine. And I just thank it for all the good years it gave me. And uh, in fact, maybe I'll hold a memorial service for it or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, maybe the, uh, the the Shekathon could yeah. be a dual, no, no, a dual no, thing. No, let's not joke about that. Mark. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So uh, Shekfest, it's called. Oh, Shekfest. Oh, uh -huh. All right. Well, or it could have been a Shagfest if the prostate worked. But uh, you know. I, I understand that there are some frauds out there. I, I looked online. I tried to I tried to you know uh, see if there were any negative marks against these people or others that that do this stuff. And you know it just it made sense. There are so many of them, Phil, that they don't even say this is not good or this is not bad because everybody assumes that any kind of erection scheme. Yeah, it's fraudulent. It's fraudulent. That's an assumption. Yeah, you know. Well, what's you this, know, what's this thing called again? It's uh, the one I'm doing is called Gaines Wave Therapy, and basically, okay, wait a minute, Gaines Wave Therapy. Therapy. And it's, oh, it's there a machine. It there it is. There it is. Gaines for Wave Therapy. Okay, okay. so what what do you get uh, on it? Then? Um, let me see here. Um, side effects. Ooh, it has side effects. Hard on? <laughs> no. Um, let's see. Gaines wave electrical elect erectile dysfunction treatment. This is a sponsored ad, so let's go away. Uh, does, does Gaines wave therapy really work? Low intensity sound waves may also, in theory, be able to stimulate new nerve cells in the penis, helping to encourage sensitivity. These changes help improve penile functioning and may be affected in offering a lasting solution for electric. Well, that's what a one of the answers says. But yeah. you know, these are all people trying to sell it. Is what the problem is. I, I understand. You know, uh, but at some point, uh, somebody has to say it works or it doesn't work. And uh, you know, I I don't think that uh, there's a, a lot of people out there now. It may not work as well as you hope that it will work. I mean, even the guy that was doing the application, he said to me, he says, you're not going to be like you were when you were 25 or 40 years old, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, there, there's improvement. And even so far with these uh, with these sessions, there was a little bit of improvement. Well, it says write reviews and then nobody wrote reviews. Yeah, yeah, they probably take them down as soon as oh, they. Oh, listen! Put it. Next time I see my urologist, I'll ask him what he thinks. He'll probably feel yeah, like he, I do yeah. about it. I just think you're wasting your money, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, you always think I'm wasting my money. Well, you always, uh, most of the time, you are wasting your money. Well, you know, what am I going to do? Die with it? You know, uh, uh, the idea. I spend, I spend a lot of money just working out. You know, my my personal trainer. Is is fifteen hundred dollars a month oh, just the personal trainer? And because uh, you don't because you don't have the ability to do it yourself. I I don't have the strength to show up uh, when there is no consequences for missing it. So, for instance, I have an appointment three days a week. Well, I I just got in this life. I want to come back as somebody who takes you for every cent you've got. <laughs> they they already and have. that won't be Anytime. that won't be difficult. By the way. Uh, uh, believe yeah. me, I have I have made it and lost it many many times, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. It, but you, you you know there was a, a sales trainer that once said, "How much of the customer's money do you want?" And the answer is all of it because they'll make more. Well, <laughs> they're getting it because I'll make more. Yeah. But uh, well, to be honest with you, I mean, I probably have at my disposal more money than you do. I'm sure you do. Yes, and I would never spend. You've money. always made more I, money. I, I would than never I. spend my money on this. 
Well, you know, uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, a I'm taking a shot. <laughs> and, uh, if, and by if the way, work, at my age, I can afford to waste all the money I want to. I understand. But I I'll just keep working until I drop. I don't have me. any kids to leave it to. Yeah. You know. Marjorie's here, but she'll get what's left there. But then when she goes, whatever's left over, I don't know who gets it. Well, her boyfriend. <laughs> her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. The fourteen year, the the eighteen year old boyfriend she got because she could afford it. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <right. laughs> hey, anyway. uh, uh, now uh, the uh, I was going to mention some stuff on China, but uh, what about? Yeah, what do you? What else do you want to talk about? Or you want to continue to talk about uh, limp penises? Well, no, your limp penis. I don't care about talking about <laughs> limp penises in general. Just yours. You know? Oh, okay. Well, but anyway, uh, anyway, it's where it's supposed to be. Hmm. It's it's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, what what's this thing about uh, uh, Elon Musk offering Don Lemon a position? Hmm. Uh, do you know anything about it? Yeah, he offered him a position. Yeah, at uh, at uh, Twitter, they may also uh, it looks like Tucker Carlson's going to go over there. I didn't know that they had shows on Twitter, but I guess they're planning to. Yeah, well, that's interesting. I didn't know that they had shows either, and uh, so you know, Elon Musk, a pretty smart guy. Uh, you know, maybe he's going to create a network. And uh, well, Lemon's not a good get because he really doesn't get ratings. Okay. He's never had a large audience. He only had a large audience by virtue of the people that were ahead of him and before at before him and after him at night. Although it it, it will attract uh, a, a demographic, a political demographic that, uh, for instance, Tucker Carlson wouldn't. I don't think he wants to make another Fox News. I, I you know, I have no, an but, idea. But he, he wants to give Tucker Carlson a place to be. But I think he'd like to have Don Lemon because Don Lemon is to the left. And then he can say, well, I'm creating balance here. Now, Tucker Carlson, uh, there's, a, there's a thing called Rumble. And I think uh, Dan Bongino is an investor in Rumble and has a, has a, a fairly large position. Uh, is there a possibility that Tucker Carlson is going to go to that rather than uh, Elon Musk? Well, he wants to be on some place with a guy named Bongino? Yeah, well, he, he's okay. I like Bongino. Uh, I never heard of him. Really? No, never heard of him. I just heard oh. uh, heard of him when he got fired. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I listened to him on the radio. Well, on the whatever it is, radio. Uh, it, it's got to be over the internet. Yes. Yeah. That's the way it's I called get it. podcasts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I've heard of those once before. Some guy in the seventies or eighties made made those nineties uh, made those up yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, he created it. Yes. First guy ever to do it. Yeah. I think his name was uh, Bennett, mm -hmm. Bennett or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Uh, ben Schwarz Blackman or something, yes. Uh, so how do you feel? Have, have you ridden the subway lately? No. Wait a minute. Did I? When? Did I the other day? I can't remember if I have recently or not. Have you seen the protests that are going on in the subways and uh, uh, over uh, this this guy who uh, was choked out? Well, there was a it was a sub a, one subway station for a couple hours. They were demonstrating. Well, yeah, the news would make it look like it was. Uh, well, there was burning. nothing wrong with them protesting. You know, uh, it's just that I question: Are they protesting the fact that some guy was choked to death? which is a terrible thing. It's a terrible yeah. thing to have happened. Or are they protesting because of the black guy who got choked? In other words, I'd like to think it's because anybody who would get choked by somebody else, there would be those kind of demonstrations. But I, it, even if it were an, a Hispanic, I don't think there would be the hue and cry there is over this guy. Oh. But when, w with this guy's uh, previous record of, uh, of offenses, uh, and I'm not saying that that's a reason to His offenses kill him. were basically being a loiterer and, you know, things like that. I think he, he hit uh, an old lady in the head and, 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 and a number of other hey, things. Listen, listen, arrest. look, but the, those things and what he did in the subway does not carry with it the death sentence. 
No, but okay. you know, it took they try he subdued the guy and it took the police fifteen minutes to respond. Now if the police responded sooner, maybe uh he the subdued guy, the guy with too much stop. he subdued the guy with too much force. He had been trained to do this kind of thing and he knew it was deadly. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, there are... I mean, I'm uh, sure as a, cop, a as a cop, you were trained how to do that, but you were told not to, right? We, yeah, we weren't allowed to uh, do exactly. karate. Uh, exactly, and there's a reason for that. You know, and th this guy, yes, he was a pain in the ass, and he probably was a problem to a lot of the people around him, may have even been a slight danger to them, but that doesn't carry with it the death sentence. Okay. Well, it'll, it'll be interesting, uh, you know, when this uh, when this goes to. Well, oh, I think they should throw the book at this guy. Really? Why well, is that? Oh, yeah, because I, because he killed somebody else. I don't care if you see, you know, this whole no notion, and it really gets me after a while that you're protecting yourself as an argument is ridiculous. You know, because I, it's I used wonder... too, it's used too many times as an excuse to just blatantly, for the fun of it kill somebody well i don't think the guy was trying to have it, have fun doing it but i understand that this uh person who uh who died uh was very uh, uh aggressive and Phil, uh they Phil, not Phil. and he would not did he did he, deser did he deserve to die no nobody okay deserves well then the case closed guy should go on trial well, I hope I hope there's a trial, and I and I hope he's exonerated. Why 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 would you hope he was exonerated? Because because he overreacted. Time. Everybody no, should you know. know they have to be responsible for their actions, Phil. It's, yes, but it's it, this guy stood up and and did the right thing, protecting others. And uh, sometimes suppose uh, he was if, suppose you know something. Um, you had the same thing with Bernie Getz years ago. Well, right. Bernie gets uh, screwdriver. Uh, yeah, in his case, he left somebody. Uh, uh, he shot him. Huh? He, sh he shot, shot him. And he, yeah, the guy went after him with a screwdriver. And he went the rest of his life not being able to walk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and they say, well, he was down there protecting the. You know, he wasn't protecting anybody. He went down there looking to do this. He was look. He was always waiting for some kind of excuse. And I think this guy could have been waiting for some kind of excuse to put a chokehold on somebody. Well, you know, he he had a backpack on. It's not the kind don't, of thing. Don't excuse bad behavior. Don't no. excuse bad behavior. You know. All right. You know, uh, like uh, you now, if we talk about Trump, you're going to excuse bad behavior too. Well, uh, it just it just proves he couldn't grab her by the pussy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and get away with it. Mm -hmm. uh, now he says he's going to appeal it. I, I have to of believe course, that. Of course, he'll appeal anything, but that doesn't right. mean he's going to win the appeal, uh, or or the appeals court is even going to take his case. Uh, and you know, I'm uh, hell. My I'm, my landlords appealed our case. You know, you always appeal if you didn't didn't go the way you wanted it to. Exactly. Well, I don't know. Uh, I would imagine Trump was convicted, or Trump lost the case. And he he lost the case. And he's, fair and he is square. now uh, is now what what's the term that they use for him now? He he well he, uh, uh, he uh, well uh, it, it, that it's not a criminal thing. Uh, no, it's not a criminal thing criminal because case. they didn't try in a criminal court. But he certainly is guilty of being a predator. Uh, it was it was well a predator is like that Megan's Law two ninety which is. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know, where you have to register as a uh, sexual predator. Hey, listen. Uh, yeah. Did you believe that O.J. Simpson was guilty? Yeah, probably. Was he ever found guilty? No. Good. I'm glad you agree with that because he was found uh, culpable. Civilly liable. Civilly liable. Well, in this right. case, uh, Trump is civilly liable, but he's also considered to be a predator. That's the man you want to have as president. God well, help us actually, all. I, actually, I, I want to have DeSantis as president. Oh, God. You know, uh, but uh, I, I believe that uh, Trump probably put his foot in his mouth enough mm -hmm. that he hurt himself mm -hmm. uh, where he had an opportunity to pivot when he was president, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he didn't do it. So, oh, look who's here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, 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 well, I'll, everybody. I'll bet, uh, bet Charlie has something to say about this. About what? 
uh, erectile dysfunction? No, no. <laughs> oh. Ch Charlie, what do you think about the verdict on Trump? I thought, I thought it was wonderful. I thought, it, I believed her from the beginning. You should have been criminally convicted, but I guess the statute of limitations ran out on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I thought that you know that earlier picture they showed of her where Trump identified her as, as Marla Maple. Marla, yeah. yeah. Uh, she did look pretty good. And I was in a restaurant once. Well, the funny part was, in case people don't know what went on, in the deposition, they showed him a picture and said, who is this? And he went, mm -hmm. oh, that's my ex-wife, Marla Maples. Or he called her, I, her wife, his wife, actually, Marla yeah. Maples. And, uh, he's, and, and this was after he had said that he found the woman that was accusing yeah. him of not being a track, not his well, type, and yet, in the picture, that woman was her, and obviously it was his type because he thought it was a woman he married. Well, let me let me give you my Marla Maple story. I was in a restaurant in uh, Buckhead, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Buckhead is right outside of Atlanta, and the uh, it was a very nice steakhouse. And I'm I'm having dinner with my then wife Susan and. Uh, the this woman walks in and the whole restaurant just went silent because this woman was so beautiful and so sexy and so it had such a presence and uh don't tell me it was marjorie no it was marla maples mm. yeah she was she was gorgeous she was gorgeous yeah absolutely gorgeous i mean she silenced uh, uh that that whole restaurant just by walking in and i don't think that they knew who she was or if they did uh but she, she just had a presence and 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 a look uh she was she was very pretty but and, uh, you know i mean so you let's see so so our new our, our possible candidate for president is now a uh, uh, uh pretty much been accused of uh sexual misconduct well he grabbed her by the pussy no he didn't well, he, he, won. he put it in her pussy. That's what happened. Uh, no, I, I did. He actually. Yes, raped her that's what she he, just. She said he. She got raped. In the department store too, right? Yeah. My mother worked in a department store. Now she went in the back and see Miss. Which one was it? Bloom. It wasn't Bloomingdale's, was it? Oh, it was, uh, was, it? was it Bloomingdale's? No, it, it started with a B. It oh, was. Uh, um, Barney's. No. Barney's. What I do you mean? Barney's is a men's store. My bar mitzvah store. suited Barney's. Oh, it's a men's store. Oh, that would have been uh, real good. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I did know that. I mean, Bergdorf I got raped at Barney's, but Bergdorf. I paid too much for a suit. Yeah. Right, Bergdorf Goodman. Mm -hmm. Bergdorf. Where is that? Is that that must be fancy then for them to shop there then? It's. I think it's out of business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said yeah. I, I. I never. I never uh, went into Bergdorf Goodman. He. Mm -hmm. He. His. His office was a block away. Yeah. He's oblivious to everything, I think. Oh, no, he, he, he lies about everything. Does he everything. know what he's talking about, you think? Or is it just I, I think he maybe lies more than Santos does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy, you need a scorecard for him, really. It's ridiculous now. Yeah, 13 counts. It's like, bingo, <laughs> I got him across the board. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, I, I want to go back to something that Phil was just talking about before the Marla Maple story, the chokehold administration in yeah. in in the death the chokehold administration they were right before nixon weren't they yeah <laughs> so so there's new new people that were on the train with him released uh video evidence to the da's office <clears throat> and I, i've actually seen the video evidence that after he choked him out they turned him on his side which is a normal procedure i was an expert witness in the chokehold and testified mm -hmm. many times in court to use it in the use of it he did it properly did the chokehold properly he turned him side they turned him rolled him to the side that wasn't in the first videotape and he used it to protect the people that he was actually protecting somebody else that was being physically attacked on the train that, that he was not attacking anybody there's no witness that claimed that he attacked anybody all he did was jump up and down and scream no nope, that's not he true. made no attack on any not other true person. you didn't hear, you didn't hear what i just said there's new video evidence of other people that were on that train that released it 
That's this fine. is why they did didn't. Didn't that evidence show him physically attacking anybody? It, they do. In I, the video. From what I've seen, uh, and and from what's been reported, no, there he wasn't. There wasn't any video of that. Okay. So the so this guy just wanted to choke somebody and see if he could kill him because he was black. No, I just even think a five year old knows you don't choke somebody for fifteen minutes if you don't want to kill them. Listen, Didn't anybody anybody anybody, anybody watches minutes. the news and saw what happened up in Minneapolis should know you don't. They didn't show. He didn't choke him for fifteen minutes. He choked him. He passed out. They rolled him over on his there side. Was, no, it was about. What it you? was. It was a long period of it time. It was fifteen he minutes before it the was police 15 came. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen, it, it minutes, took before 15 the police minutes for the police there. response. He was already rolled over on his side. And Look, we shouldn't have to him. argue about any of this. Uh, he, the guy, did not do the right thing. Okay. Well, that's what I, you I said. The there were other ways. There were other ways to be able to subdue this guy to begin with. He was a street person. Probably didn't have much sense He's about him. Long criminal record of assault in New York. He did have a record, yeah. Yeah, he's that's, got a long criminal record. Of does assault. that carry with it? Yeah, the, that, wait a minute. Does that carry I, with I, it? I don't, the, I don't, I don't, no, you keep bringing that back. He didn't deserve to die. This guy was trying to stop a situation. This former marine. He did the chokehold right. They rolled him over on the side. Other people had video that they've just released, and um, they show in the video one person in the you know a little ways behind him shows the guy attacking a woman, uh, not not like choking her or something, but he grabbed her, and this is when the marine went into action. The, the chokehold is a great tool that has been taken from law enforcement. It works really well. Yeah, 99, sure works wait a minute, wait a minute, ninety nine percent. It works really well 99 percent of the time when it's done properly this is one time where it was done properly and the guy did not come back and i don't buy back. i don't buy one percent if it's only one percent i still don't buy it okay two percent i don't i don't remember no, but i exact, don't buy it i don't buy it point. as an answer but, but, but in the 80s and i'm sure phil has used this when he was a cop in richmond in the 80s it was a common way to solve a problem and we we used chokeholds a lot. We They're used to use our baton. We used to use our baton. Well, the guy didn't have a baton on the. Train. No, well, you're not allowed to do that You're not anymore, arguing with me on this, Phil. But yeah, the, the chokehold is a great. The trouble is, a lot of cops learned it once, used it three years later, and cut. And if you get th this Ooh, part of the arm the across the throat here, right. you'll break all the little bones in there and kill the person. Yeah. This guy, if you look at it. It, the guy's middle of his neck is in in the in this part of his arm, and that's the proper way to do it. That way, you don't crush the the trachea and stuff. You just cut off the. Apparently, carotid you do arm. something to kill somebody. Well, maybe the guy was so uh, uh, crazed out that he had a heart attack. Uh, that <laughs> yeah, so that, that'll be that'll that'll come out in the autopsy. But if that's true or not, but we don't know. But but what what, what happened? Yeah, he was high on drugs or so. Who the hell knows? I don't know. But the, the, the Marine did the right thing, and I know you're going to disagree. Phil would agree, but, you know, but... I think I it's mean, never the right thing to do anything which results in the death of another human being. Exactly. Okay, so when what they, were, when guy, what they were doing wasn't dangerous say enough. That, say, say, that, say, that, say the guy that, that died had a knife to the woman or had a gun to the woman, and somebody else pulled out that, a gun that, and you, but, there's the, but that, no, you, you're, making, you're making up a... a, a Scenario that did not you exist don't know, here. You don't know the you don't know the whole story. Well, well I haven't I haven't heard anything yet murder. about knives a and hit. guns. I haven't heard about knives and guns yet. No, but 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 a hit from a guy uh, to an old woman could have killed her. That's and, right. And and he had. Uh, You're all doing coulda woulda shouldas. The, the only no, coulda woulda. No, where all we're talking are, are absolutes that there's a guy who Alan, is dead because right. somebody put a chokehold on him. Charlie. Alan has the, has seen the video. I haven't seen it, but Alan says I'll, I'll I have not video. I send it to whoever wants to see the video. Yeah. Attack anybody. I'll send see. it to whoever wants to see the video. Send it to Charlie. Let me, let me, uh, I want to say hello I, to Steve I, Fox, I who joined us, by the way. Hey, Hi, Steve. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is fun. I have a, uh, I have a question. A I have a question right that I brought up earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, if this were not a black guy, but let's say Asian, Hispanic, do you think there would be the same hue and cry? Or do you think that those groups are not well organized to be down on the subway to protest it? 
I doubt they'd be the same, but there would definitely be a hue and cry. Well, I'm sure there'd be Lots some questions about it. have been attacked the last couple of years, and there's a big hue and cry over that. Yeah. But yeah I, I, think, I think if you take color out of the picture, yeah, because there's no proof this Marine is, was a racist, I think this Marine would I'm have not jumped say, I'm out not saying he was. Or whatever. Yeah. I'm not accusing him of that. Okay. But I'm Al really, Sharpton, once Al Sharpton of, gets involved, he makes it uh, about race. Well, he has, you know, his business, okay, and his, uh, what can we call it, his job in life is to bring those things up, you know. He, he's not running an organization uh, that got together because they just want to complain about everything. He has a particular area in which he complains when he sees an uh, injustice has been done and uh, misjustice, what's, what am I, what's the right word here? Injustice. Injustice has been Injustice. done. Uh, and, and so that's when he comes to the fore. Uh, you don't think he uh, uh, creates uh, 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 a race baiting no, kind of? No, I think he look, I think he looks for a situation in which people are bothered and then he gets into the fray. Okay. Uh, okay. You well, know, I don't, I, I, and I, you know, I've never been the biggest fan of Al Sharpton. Um, you know, but nevertheless, I think that he, in many ways, is honorable, and you I don't think, think he's adding gasoline to the fire. Huh? No, I don't think I don't think he's adding gasoline to the fire. But I think he doesn't want if there is a fire, he doesn't want it to go out. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, I and I, you know, I mean, uh, I'll tell you the guy that gets to me is uh, who's that lawyer that always shows up every oh, time? Oh, the one in San Francisco? No, no, he's uh, not in San Francisco. No, the one in Georgia. He, he, I forget his name. He wears like the eagle on his on his coat. Yeah. Uh, no, there was a civil rights. Every, 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 every time, time. I, I call him the uh, the black injustice ambulance chaser. Oh, you know, because you? nobody has ever asked this guy. How much money did you really make off that situation in Minneapolis? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. How much money did you make off of this? And off Brianna Taylor, for instance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, because if he if he defends him, you know he's doing it pro bono, and if he's doing it pro bono, uh, it's not at a cheap rate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why involved with it? Trayvon? What's his name? Oh, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon yeah, Martin. he wasn't. That, was, that was murder. That was murder to me. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. I mean, that's the lawyer that we're talking about. Oh, we're talking yeah, about in San Francisco that, that used to wear those uh, yeah. uh, jackets, uh, suede ja uh, suede coats with the string. Willie Brown? No. no. Uh, I, I'm not even sure he was uh, of color. I don't know. Uh, well, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I'm what does this got to do with this guy choking? I was. Just trying to, th he's a uh, he's an attorney that kind of chases ambulances. Okay, well, but, but this has nothing to do with this. So uh, it was the guy so I the thought it was. The, the police interviewed this guy, and they released him. If if they thought that he had done wrong, they would have held him. The, the coroner's office uh, ruled it a uh, homicide. I guess all deaths are homicides. All deaths, suicides. As long as it's as long as it's by the hands of another. Lives. Yeah. Yeah, uh, suicides are, are ruled homicides until proven otherwise. Homicide in itself, it, it depends on the homicide. Is it justifiable homicide? That's one thing. Somebody's pointing a gun at you, you have a gun, you shoot at him as a police officer, and you kill him, it's justifiable homicide. Yeah. Uh, you know, or, or not. You know, it depends on if you had the legal. So, what right. do they do now with this guy? Is there a grand jury? Is there some they, sort of. Well, the, 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 the DA that, that's trying Trump, the DA that. Uh, what I can't think of his name now in New in Manhattan. Right, right. Yeah, as as convened a grand jury, <clears throat> and this guy, you know, the DA came out and said, "We're going to see what the grand jury says." But right now, we don't have proof that the guy intended, the Marine intended to hurt this guy, other than stop the the, the action. I wish we actually had a lawyer here because I'd ask, "What is the burden of proof needed?" In order to indict somebody, you know, they got fifty witnesses that have come forward and said that this marine did the right thing. Yeah, man, they got on the there. train. Tony would know; he's a barrister. Yeah, people uh, on yeah. the train have come forward and said that he behind right the marine. <laughs> Judge, t t Judge Tony, yes, Judge. Judge, Judge Tony, didn't yeah. do something wrong. When is this train going to stop? You the know, cops are never Charlie, coming. <laughs> when, when I have somebody and I know that they're that they've done something wrong. I immediately take it to the district attorney at, when I was a police officer, and the DA says, hold <laughs> it. All I know is the guy in somebody. Georgia 
the jogger that got killed by those white guys that, that stalked him and jumped out of the truck and killed him. They released them for months. They did, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, well, that, that was a, that was a clear cut of racism to you and me and, and everybody I'm just saying, that's why I said. Just because they released him doesn't mean I, that... I'm not... I, I don't really believe this guy was a racist. I don't. I don't think that was. I don't think that was the situation. But I think he could be accused. All the the witnesses on the train, mixed mixed races, have all said. None of them said that this guy did this because of race. You know, witnesses. Anybody said that? Those witnesses are going to appear in front of the grand jury too. And we'll see what happens, I guess. We'll yes, leave, Steve. We'll Steve? Well, I, a, I want to go back to your question that you were asking in the very beginning that you said um, if this guy wasn't black. If he was, a, let's say, Asian or he was Hispanic. Yeah. Uh, you know. I mean, would, would the coverage be the same? I don't think That's, so. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so either. I don't think I don't so. Know. I think it'd just be another incident on a subway car. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I know the way things are reported in New York, but in this day and age, it's a uh, the black community is really well organized now, as opposed to what the way they were fifty years ago. But today, when something like this happens, they're on the case immediately. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Asians have always had a position of we're just keeping to ourselves. We're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna make a fuss. We just want to let this thing go. And Hispanics, uh, uh, you know, I don't hear about, I'm sure they're Hispanics killed all the time by the cops, you know, and they should be brought to question for it and aren't, you know. So yeah. I mean, I'm just saying that uh, I, the only thing I don't want to see happen is I don't think we should say that, you know, oh, hey, you're black, so therefore there's more of a chance it's racism than if you're Hispanic or Asian. And I got to tell you, as a Jew now, anti-Semitism oh, is yeah. terrible right now. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You know, even, even from but if within, I was a white Jew getting chokehold by a guy down there and dying, I, I don't think it would be the same result. Well, maybe not. Nobody would be yelling. Know, I, and, I, I, see, I, I check they, your wallet. I think that. I think that. <laughs> There's nothing here. No joke here. I think that. I think that the grand jury is going to listen to the witnesses, look at the videotape evidence, yeah. and come up with something. And they'll yeah. rather come up with these guilty and charge him, and he will go back. He hasn't left the country or anything. I, I'm not. He'll I'm not defending this guy because I think the guy acted inappropriately. But well, you don't. But you, do you don't. Do, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. I wasn't yeah. there, so I can't say. Okay. All I, I can see are the videos that I've seen. Okay. But it's just my opinion that it, okay. on the face of it, it looks like I would. I'm. I don't feel happy with him as being a judge of this okay. kind of character. Okay. But what I'm what I what I was what I was arguing here, and I forgot what I was arguing because everybody was talking at the same time. Yeah, Tony, it's all your fault. Yeah, no, is is that that um, you know we we, we 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 when it happens to a black person these days, every the news is looking for that. Everybody's looking for that. Yeah. They're not looking for the other stuff that happens. A cop that kills a you know a, a Jew a, a Jewish jeweler. Or something, you know, you're just not going to get the same result that you get. So that a grand jury feels almost compelled to charge in order to keep the temperature of the room down. Does that make really sense? Really think it's political that a grand jury gets a political? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that they, you know, I'm I'm sure just like in the South, grand juries never indicted people for killing black people because they knew the temperature. They didn't want the temperature of the room to go up. Here, I they don't want it to go up by uh, by not by I letting somebody getting that, away with killing a black person. You know, uh, I think maybe in those years in the South, it was uh, the pot calling the kettle black, and that's why. They weren't. Uh, I think that's indi- a bad choice of words. All here. right. Well, they weren't that's... indicting uh, 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 like like minded people that maybe they were just as bigoted as uh, as the uh, as the perpetrator. Well, it went on in the South for years. It was just whole wholehearted uh, murder. Okay, yeah. sanctioned murder. So let, let, let's try let's try something else since none of us were there. Alex, if you were this Marine, 24 years old, trained in great condition, mm-hmm. the former, former Well, first Marine of all, you're assuming I'd be a Marine, 
and okay, that I'd well, be I, uh, that I'd be in great condition. Okay, I'm just, I mean, he was in the Navy. For instance, <laughs> how, how would you stop the fight? What would you recommend? It wasn't a fight. How would you stop this guy? From I certainly would have, knowing what went on in Minneapolis, you know. And what it has gone on? It, it, what has gone on in a lot of cases where there have been chokeholds? Uh, if I were on that train, I probably would intervene and said, "Lighten up." You're talking up. about George Floyd. George Floyd, in yeah. Minneapolis. He didn't die George of a Floyd. chokehold. He, he he The cop put his knee on the guy's neck, and he the stood guy, for nine so, minutes. So let, let, let's 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 back up a minute on the George Floyd. He was dead before the cop put. In the, he 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 was having trouble breathing. When your hands are behind you and handcuffed, it pulls these muscles across here, and he was anxious. For whatever was, reason, the, uh, for whatever reason, but, George Floyd is dead. Okay, and and I think that cop should be in prison for the rest of his fucking life. Okay, but, but the point you know, I'm, the but, point I'm making here, the point point I'm making here is that knowing that being on that subway car, if I saw this going on. And I saw this guy in a chokehold. Even at my age, I would probably run up to the guy and say, "Lighten up on him! You're going to kill okay. this guy." They'll okay. turn Several on my. Several people did tell them. They'll that, turn. That, the guy will turn on you. That's right. I don't they care. I don't. I would, I would, I would not allow somebody guy, in front of me to be literally in a chokehold, which I know is deadly. I would not let that continue to go on no. with the force that apparently it was given. Uh, you know, and that's because be I have principles, and because I don't like to see other human beings die. It'll be interesting to hear, uh, to find out what the autopsy says. Yep. Didn't they say compression to the neck was yeah, that what that's the, what the, uh, the autopsy is going to show lack of blood to the brain from compression on the neck, just like Steve said. You know, and it's going to show that, that doesn't kill you down. once you once you pass out. Uh, well, maybe see, he passed out. Oh, well, thousands of people got choked out by the police. And by the military and stuff over many years, and they uh, most of them, not all, most of them recovered. George it's Floyd. 19. That's was, what was, happened when they pass out. You're supposed to let go. He didn't let he, go after the guy passed out. The okay. guy kept You're resisting. An at this. According to what I heard, the guy was still alive when they took him to the hospital, but he died on the way there. He yeah. didn't die on the train. Uh, in 84, at Richmond, 60 Minutes did a uh, expose. Uh, we had a guy that they choked out in the jail, and uh, and they broke his windpipe, un and unbeknownst to them, and they threw him in a cell, and he aspirated on his own vomit, and and the guy died. The, the chokehold was done wrong then. The chokehold was choke done wrong. You know exactly. something? That if if chokeholds are done wrong. Uh, then they, I don't think you should ever use a chokehold. I done mean, with a club. That, what's the guarantee it's going to be done right? But it was done with a club, you know, with, with a billy club. All I'm saying is to say, oh, there's good chokeholds and then there's bad chokeholds. No, they're all bad. No, no, no. It's not four legs good, two legs bad. That's it, right. It, you know, there, there's sometimes you have to administer the amount of force necessary to to stop the. But if you see that the person has now kind of not, was not wiggling around a lot, and that he was being subdued because of the chokehold, you would lighten up on the chokehold, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes. And I this and did guy they? didn't look like he let up on it at all. He may have been holding him, but hey, I don't look, know. I'm not going to try this here. Yeah. Could be the guy's completely innocent. He did just, the right I, thing, I, all of yeah, that. I, but I'm and I'm not going to try it right here. But whenever I hear about this happening, I'm a little suspicious that somebody was being a little too uh, offensive in his menu, aggressive, aggressive in his menu. I, I would agree. I would agree, but we don't know. Yeah. But there's always erectile dysfunction. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, but you know something? You would probably get an erection if they choked you. <laughs> hey, let's try yeah. it. And uh, you know, yourself, Bill. Uh, when people were hey, what about reparations? Well, people were hung, so to speak, in the old yeah. Wild West, and they would hang them. As soon as they dropped, well, the first thing that happened is they got an erection. Not if and I know I'd be I'd like be that. swinging they there back and forth, back looking down at my dick, going, "Oh, now you do it." <laughs> <laughs> So if, the, if 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 somebody is dropped out of the gallows properly, and and it was done properly, it's supposed to snap their neck. So that's a proper you're not, hanging. You're not going to hanging, I guess. So you're not. You know, I'm not an expert at hanging, but if you break the neck, 
you break the, the brain stem, mm -hmm. the, the spine, and nobody's going to get an erection. These were bl blotched um, uh, hanging. Blotched the hangings. guy was still alive and choking. <laughs> blotched hangings? Blotched. Blotched. <laughs> blotched. Blotched. Whatever. It's nuclear. Yeah. <laughs> and nuclear, yeah, well, now let's don't. get let's get to our um, uh, leader in the Republican Party for president, presidential nominee, Donald Trump. Tr yeah. Donald Trump. What is it that he's actually he's not guilty of anything because it wasn't a trial per se; it was a civil trial. But he is considered. Is he not considered a um, 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 uh, what do you call it, a sex predator? No, no in this case, it was a no, because predator. it wasn't a criminal trial. No, but there, there's there's trial. something you can call him and get away with it. Well, I'll look it up and see what I, they. I can do. think of a lot of he things I'd call him. Oh, get away. convicted as being responsible for sexually assaulting. He was guilty of sexual assault. Yeah, yeah. but not not. A, it's not a criminal not charge. Criminally. It doesn't go on his record. It it if he has a record, um, it doesn't go on his record. It just shows. The disposition was he lost the case. It's just like being sued. You know, yeah. it's, it's it's a civil type thing in court. It's not a criminal thing. So if you sue somebody for yeah, stepping on your toe and and you, you sue for a million dollars and you get the million dollars, he doesn't end up with a criminal record. And that's the same thing. With well, she head. sued. Uh, she, and the jury, the uh, may I? The jury finds Trump liable for sexual abuse. There we and, go. And defamation. Mm -hmm. Those, those were the those. Uh, that that was what could cost him five million dollars. Yep. Will cost him five million dollars. Well, uh, he'll appeal and they'll negotiate, and she'll get eight hundred. No, they appeal. Well, first of all, first of all. You're assuming the appeals court is even going to take the case. Well, of course, it's a civil. It's a no, civil. No, thing. no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In my in my in my situation, my landlord appealed, and the appeals court said, "No, we think the original judgment is correct, and we're sending it back to the original that's judgment." That's because it was Jew on Jew. No, but this is the, the, that's what's going to happen here. They're, they're going to say either we'll look at it or we're sending it back to the original judge. You know, uh, well, and then you have to collect. Which isn't there? Well, then you have to collect, and you know how good he is about paying bills. Don't well, pay his you know, bills. He'll write a check, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and Michael Avenatti will uh, deliver it for him. Now I noticed. I noticed that, on, that, 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 that on, on Sunday CNN is doing a show about uh, what's happened to San Francisco. Right. And, uh, matter and, of fact, and, I sent you something. Did yeah, you watch I, uh, it? Uh, no. No. Uh, it was uh, Angel uh, Alioto. Uh, well, I oh, I watched a little bit of that. Yeah, uh -oh. uh, but well, you didn't uh, send it to me. Uh, you don't count. Can I talk? Steve oh, lives yeah. in San Francisco. Would you live in San Francisco? Uh, I'm in Danville. You're in Danville, but you go to San Francisco every day, right? To work. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah, bad. Ex well, a, a describe. I mean, hold on, Phil. Oh, please. Sure. Describe what it's like in San Francisco right now. Well, wait, wait. okay, I, I could give a contrast. Um, going back, you know, when we were all in San Francisco and San Francisco was what it was, and then, you know, COVID came in and, you know, the pandemic, I should just say, and then after that, everything is just a, it's just a, it's not the same as it was. It's just completely a broken city. You know, when you look at it, it it's yeah. just because I uh, we Marjorie and I have been watching a show that was on Hulu called uh, Chance, which was done in San Francisco. And every time I see a, a show done in San Francisco, I'm constantly going to her. Oh, God, I miss it. Oh, look at it. You know, oh, I just and that that right there, that's right next door to where I used to go do the, uh, you know, do confession at the Catholic Church, even though I was Jewish, so I could go see that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning every place they happen to be. Oh, I know where that is. That's right around the corner from this or that. And I just, I watch it and I just so miss that city. But I'm realizing now, after talking to people like you, Steve, and Bubbles, uh, that that's not the city I left. Mm mm. So can I, can drive I around something? those spots, but can I bring something there. There. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Let other people talk here. Yes, what, what, Kevin? I said you can drive around those spots and ignore them, 
but they're there. I mean, you can still go out to the to the piers, and you can still go out to you know the the marina and things like that, and ignore those spots. But they're still there. And, but I hear that you drive down Van Ness Avenue into areas where you know if you go down by uh, where you used to be able to go down to the, the theater district and actually go through there and not be bothered. Now you go through there and it stinks like piss. And oh, and yeah, awesome. but also I'm told that if you yes. go down Van Ness Avenue, which was really a very nice avenue in San Francisco, yeah. it was all the, where all the big car dealers were, yeah. uh, that today it's all tense. It stinks. Ooh. So it's can, stinks. I, can I, I bring mention something about the, to home for you, Alex? The Alioto thing? Ninth Street. No. Forget, what? Forget Alioto. Oh. Ninth Street, where you used to work, uh, you know, before COVID, used to be homeless and drug addicts. Now there's nobody on the street around Ninth Street. I was just there last Saturday. Well, that's right yeah. where where, uh, yeah, right where Twitter where is. Mission Mission and Ninth. They had a little donut shop that all the druggies and the and the homeless used to. It's cleaned up. They've moved somewhere else, like Kevin said. They they've gone somewhere else in the city. I can and tell you where. It's unfortunate too. that they under two eighty. Well, yeah, there you go. In a lot of lot of nice neighborhoods are now tent cities. Yeah, uh, Phil, Phil, what were you going to say about Angela Alioto? Although nobody knows who she is anymore. Uh, well, she was uh, uh, on the board of supervisors. She was a very good of friend of mine. Of San Francisco, and her uh, father was the mayor of mm -hmm. San Francisco, and a very good friend of mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now she said that the reason that homelessness exists in San Francisco is because of the programs that we have. Now, the population of homeless in San Francisco is somewhere around 3,500 or 4,000, if uh, I remember right. And uh, last year, they spent $1.2 billion on homelessness. So what's happening is these the people these who run these programs are getting most of the money they're spending a little bit of it on the homeless but it's it's a business and it's perpetuating because the uh the people that are in charge in san francisco don't want to offend the people that run these programs because they are their voting block and if they do that then they won't be in mm -hmm. office if, if you were to listen to that thing that i sent you angela yeah. alioto told the truth about what's going on, why we have this homeless problem, and why it continues to perpetuate. So, so uh, you know, even though the homeless are on the street, we're doing it, we as, as, as the uh, ruling class, I guess, we're doing it to ourselves. We're creating this environment that isn't going to ever cure homelessness, because if they did, there'd be a lot of people without jobs. And, and, and that, that's the problem. Okay. Can we I give a different what they're doing to us. Can I give a different take on homelessness? There's more than 4,000 people homeless, 3,500 to 4,000 in San Francisco. Maybe put a couple of zeros in there. It's more like 35,000 people that are homeless in San Francisco. It's okay, Phil, whatever. It doesn't matter what the number is. So during COVID, they tried to house all the homeless in hotels. They rented hotel rooms to try and control COVID. They did that and here, too. It, right and stuff like that and so they spent a lot of money on that and now instead of putting them back on the street they are trying to find them places to live and that costs money and i agree that there's abuse in the system okay but there's always been abuse in the system but the point is that we don't we don't our problem in this society is we don't know how to handle these social problems no, we you, don't. Because we don't have... Okay, please, let me just talk. Can I just say something without some other sound <laughs> coming in sure. here? Um, you know, we just, we just, we just, we're just very bad at this because we're very bad at, at being human beings in this country and dealing, you know, it's like the whole thing going on down at the border. Everybody's trying to blame everybody else. You know, oh, it's Biden's fault. Well, I got news for you. You know whose fault it is what's happening at the border? It's Trump, and it started the day he was coming down that escalator and then gave that speech saying that they're coming over the border and blah, blah, blah. He started the whole thing, and that caused a larger influx because people, don't give me that, Phil. He didn't start it. It had it, existed it, wait, before. It, it really was started. not to that extent, Phil. Once he, he made that him. statement, man, everybody south of the border started heading north of the border. And, you know... Uh, that whole problem started with Trump. 
was exacerbated by Trump, and then everybody went, here you are, Joe. You deal with it. There's 10,000 people a day coming across the border. When Trump was... Uh, Phil, was I'm, that's not the point I'm trying to make here. You're not listening. I don't think that it's a, a matter of listening. I don't. I don't agree with your uh, with your. Well, take of course, on, you don't. We know that. You don't have to say it. All right. Well, uh, that. Uh, so I, I'm listening, but I don't agree. All I'm know? saying is, is that you know, uh, 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 this is a problem that was created by the Trump administration. It was exacerbated by them. You had families that were completely separated from each other. That to maybe in their whole lifetime will never see their parents again. Okay. Oh, wonderful thing that Trump did. Just terrific. He and he didn't solve the problem. He exacerbated the problem. So, so do you think that if oh, hmm? do you what? think that if uh, he did not put up a wall and did not put the panic in those people down south to shoot for the border before something gets That's worse. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 wouldn't be happening. I mean, if 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 you're uh going to a sale at the store and it's the it, sales it, about it, to end, you're going to rush up there to I, get I'll your give stuff. you a be, I'll give you a better example. It's Black Friday. <clears throat> Correct. You know. Same thing. And and as long as the people on TV are going tomorrow's Black Friday, you better watch out. Those stores are going to be filled. Everybody's going to head for those stores. They're going to get on the bus and they're going to head towards it. Yeah. Exactly. So the, so re, so eliminating Title Forty Two, like it's going to take place tomorrow. Uh, do you think that uh, the thousands and thousands? Of no, it's not going to make it any border. better. It's not going to make it any better. Di well, do you know you know what Title Forty Two was created for? Yes, COVID. Yeah. Right. Do we have COVID? But it was it was working. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Do we have COVID? Yes. Still? Yeah. Didn't the president it. just say the emergency is over with? Yeah. And, and didn't and, every uh, state in the country say the emergency is over with? And, even and though Bush, even though I would agree with Charlie, it's not over with. But they say it's over with. That's the reason why Title 42 goes away. It was supposed to go away anyway, but there was no reason to keep it in, in play and, and, because and, it was based upon covid and w bush said mission accomplished does that mean it was phil that had nothing to do with what i'm talking about yes it and does. Trump put it in does. place and never said he had covid nobody had covid you didn't need covid and he put that title 42 in place didn't you well it, it worked it, it worked it didn't work it, worked. it didn't work title 42 oh, wait, is still, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. hold on a second title 42 is still in force how many people did you say came across the border today 10,000. I don't think it was 10,000. It's not working. Well, there's going to be many, many more uh, than than that uh, come tomorrow. Charlie, uh, is it 10,000 a day? You live in Texas. You hear about it all the time. I don't know what the number is, but it's no different than it was. When I don't Trump think they know the number. It was really. no different than when, Charlie? When Trump was in office. Oh, no, that's not true. Yes, that is true. No, not that's true. not true. Uh, the the, the hey. numbers... Hey, he, he lives in Texas. He lives in more. Texas. He knows that number and the amount of people who have been killed in Texas by guns this month. He lives in no. Austin. That's not Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's California in Texas. So let me, let me slide a word in here, Phil. According to the city of San Francisco, city and county, in the last time they did a homeless count in 2022, in, in, in January 2022, there was roughly 2.5% of the city's population homeless. Between 20 and 22,000, not 3,000. $1.2 billion. 1.2. How much is that? Take your 22 to 25,000. What are you talking about, Phil? Like what, are you ta what are you talking about, Phil? I'm talking about the money that is being squandered in San Francisco that allows homelessness to exist because people are making money by yeah. having homelessness. Well, then you got to stop them from making money and get the money yes. to where it's supposed to be. That's, that's, not, that's not the fault of the money, and it's not the yes, fault. Yes, it is. It, no, it's it's the fault, it's the it's fault, the fault of, the of the George Santoses of the world who are trying oh. to get a payoff for a payout from 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 a negative situation. It's, it's right. the fault no of the administration in San Then take those people and listen throw them in that. goddamn jail and get the money to the people who need it. And listen to that thing uh, that Angela Alioto. I don't did. have to listen to it. 
Well, then maybe you'd know what I'm talking about. No, I, I know what you're referring her, to. Right? And I'm sure if I heard her, I'd hear a completely different version of it than you're repeating to us. Yeah, I, th I think you ought, you trust her. I think you ought to listen no, to No, I'm her. saying that if I listen to it, i probably get an entirely different message than you Absolutely got out of it. Absolutely not. Uh, it was, uh, she was... A, How do you a, know a what point. message she would get out of it? She, 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 was, uh, she was to the point and she was pulling no punches. I thought that she was committing a political suicide by uh, taking the position that she has. And, uh, political suicide? She's not in politics anymore. Yeah, and she won't be again. Uh, she if, has uh, no intention of it. Well, that's why she's <laughs> finally able to tell the truth. Oh, boy, Phil. You are incorrigible. All right. Um, but anyway, so it is terrible, right, Steve? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. It's not the same city that you knew. Yeah. Yeah. And it's sad. You know, you, you could go to certain, like like he was saying down here, um, Kevin, that you could go to certain spots that are still there, but, you know, get away from those spots and there's nothing. Well, I, mean, I, I lived in the marina. I, I hear it's okay, right? Marina's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Pacific but like I said, I mean, doing all the, right, you know? the romanticism of San Francisco is gone. Yeah. I mean, it's just... It, you know, yeah. it, it's a shame because I look at that city and I, I remember it as a child, as an example. And it was the most beautiful city in the country. Yeah. I mean, it, and, and nobody made it that way. It's not everybody decided to cute little buildings and things like that. It was just the way it was. And it was amazing. It was just amazing. I loved growing up in that town. Then later on, Marin County, you know, because my parents wanted a better life for their kid, you know. But uh, uh, it just, you know, it, it's a shame, I think, of what's happened to San Francisco, if everything I hear is true. Everybody says to me, come on back to San Francisco. Come see us. And I'm going, everybody's telling me stay away, <laughs> you know. It's because uh, later on this year, I plan on taking lots of long vacations. One of them was going to be to San Francisco, and I'm really thinking the opposite of that. You know, I you should come still, to San Francisco. No, I'm, I'm going to. I'm probably going to spend most of my time out of the country, you know, and do my show from various, you know, once a week from various places around the world. Where's Waldo? The ramble from Russia. Well, I'm not going to Russia. <laughs> you know, I, I always wanted to go to Russia. I mean, that, that was a place I, I always, one of the places I, I wanted to go, and I, I wouldn't go there now. Moscow looks, well, no, but Moscow looks very, very nice. Oh, no, it's historic. I mean, you know, right. but, Absolutely. I mean, I just don't, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be on edge being there. Oh, you know, I would hope. and I'm yeah, glad I went. I went. I, hat. I'm glad I went. To yeah, I, I got glad I went to China. You know, when I did because it was very nice then. You know, yeah. now it's not as not as nice. You know, but uh, uh, we're looking for exotic places to go. Hawaii. You know? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there there were a couple of things I don't like. Poi is one of them, and the other oh, is uka, the other is ukuleles. You know, I, 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 not a good idea. Jeff, you ever been to Hawaii? You have. You're muted. You're muted, Jeff. Sorry, guys. You ever been? Uh, I've been there a couple of times. Isn't that the most boring place in the world? Huh. I, I, I wasn't bored. I you, wasn't bored. Yeah, but how many weeks were you there? Uh, One, like I had to be there for five weeks. Oh, well, that would suck. I used to go... Island fever. I used yes, to go for yes. two and a half days. Absolutely. Phil, Yeah. we were talking. Steve was bringing oh. up island fever. Uh, I got it, big time. I was helping to set up this radio station, and one day, about a week in, a week and a half in, they saw, found me in the lobby of the radio station, just sitting there with a blank stare on my face. Oh boy. And Good they drugs. said, Alex, and I, wow. what? And I said, you've got island fever. And I did, it was like, it was like I was in this daze. Oh. Uh, you, have you been, you've been over there, so you know what I'm talking about there. Mm -hmm. right? did, did, were you working there? 
No, it was vacation. It was for two weeks, and oh, two okay. weeks was way too long. After a week, you get uh, island a week, fever. A week is plenty. I've never been there more. It's than just week, it's so. just the heat yeah. and the and everything all combined together. The the winds and the whole thing, you know, to just. Well, you don't want to go to the uh, what what are the the Caribbean either then? Why? The heat. No, you don't They're get Hawaii, you don't get you don't get Hawaiian fever down there. Oh, and you get Caribbean fever is what you get. They don't have poi. That has got to be the worst tasting. I don't know what. Ugh. It's nasty. Yeah. I agree with you there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had it there. And I went, oh, my God. Argentina. What? What did you say? Argentina. Argentina. That would be nice. Uh, is it, is, is, it safe? is it safe in Argentina? I have no idea. You don't know. You know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Might be safe in New there. York City. Uh -huh. What? What did you it's say, okay Steve? Oh, there's some unrest over there. I have someone that um, uh, he's an IT guy from down there that's been working on yeah. uh, my internet station, and he was telling me all about it and said, "It's <laughs> you guys have what you have going on there. We have what's going on down here." And I said, "What's happening down there?" Uh, you don't want to know, he says. But it's it's worse than what you guys are going through. Well, uh, 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 Buenos Aires is in Argentina, right? Yes. Yeah, and Buenos Aires, which used to be my father used to refer to as one of the loveliest cities in the world, but that's when he visited it as a young man in the twenties. Sure. He said that it was, it, it, from what I hear, it's a very dangerous city. You know, you, you don't want to leave your hotel, okay? You know, so I've heard that about Argentina. Yeah, they're talking about the economy. You know, he was talking about the economy. Uh huh. Peru's supposed to be pretty nice. You know, Machu Picchu. What? Uh, that that uh, those runes. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Machu, Machu Picchu. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, the one place Shecky went that I would love to go is the Galapagos oh. Islands. You know, mm. but it's very okay, hard to get. They don't let that many people in there. I was just going to say that. Yeah. I, they don't let a lot of people there. There are ships that go there, and you've got to be able to board a passage on those ships, and they're not, you know, these giant cruises, okay? Oh, look, oh, at, look at that. <laughs> oh, Machu Picchu. You're, yeah. did you, you didn't even just put that shirt on, right? No. Oh, man. he was wearing it under his other There must have been some kind of psychic connection with Phil. I guess. But yeah. I... I I actually, play him and I no, don't don't put Jeff down like that. From the bottom Wait a to the top. You went to the top. Yeah, yeah. but wow. we we climbed. Oh, what's that like? Yeah, really, really? climbing. <laughs> it's great. But uh, you know, I mean, um, so I mean, I just you know, if I were if I were younger, I think I would move out of the country. I think I, I absolutely would. Um, how about you, Charlie? Would you, if you were younger, let's say, go back your thirty again, and the politics were like it is now in this country? Would you leave? I think about in fact. Uh, about ten years ago, I was thinking about moving to uh, Costa Rica. Oh, really? Why Costa Rica? You no, know, because of nice weather, and uh, it was good for uh, expats. A lot of oh, American expats so, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rob Alfano went to the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not like getting away from something. You know, I think the, you, you run into a different set of politics there, but it's heavily political there. I think yeah. if you stay away from Manila, you'll see a lot of nice. Well, he, yeah, he's he's got a Manila's living a mess. Province. He's yeah. in the province. He's living in the yeah. provinces. So, right. you know, that that's good, you know. But his wife is from there, right? Yeah, Her she's family. from there. Right. And he seems to be enjoying it. You know, he said he, it sounded to me like in the beginning he kind of had his doubts, and now mm. he seems to be really kind of liking it, you know, now that he's getting used to it. I think what he said was driving was hell right. you know, over there. And now he's learned how to drive in that traffic. And once you do that, I guess you're free. You're home free. Moving there has been his plan for several years. Yeah. Yeah, because his wife was Filipino. Yeah. Right. His whole retirement, uh, he, he's been planning this. Uh, uh, probably, yeah, but I think he was doing it also for his wife as well. I think if he wasn't married, he might not have thought of, of the well, why Philippines. Don't, why don't you take your girlfriend there? She's Filipino, Phil. 
She's no longer a Philippine citizen. She's an American citizen. Oh, she's good. Then she can go as a tourist. Well, you see, Rob's wife, they're allowed to own property. Uh, you have to uh, you have to be a, a Filipina What's Filipina that do citizen. With vacation? Yeah. Uh, to have fifty and fifty-one percent of the of the thing, and a lot of people get ripped off. I didn't, I didn't off. say move there. I said go there for vacation. I can't. I can't go to Carmel for a vacation lately. Well, if you wouldn't spend seven thousand dollars, it's not the money. It's on a the treatment time. that's not working. It's not the money. Well, it's this the become? Time. Is this become the Phil and and uh, uh, Steve Allen show? I'll <laughs> shut up. Kevin Grant, huh? For vacation. Seven thousand for a vacation? No, it's a vacation. It's no. Oh, Phil, so Phil's vacation getting his costs a lot more than with. that. Yeah, I've been looking at vacations, and God, I'm going to have to spend like at least on one of them twenty thousand dollars. You know, oh. I, was, I was thinking about going into uh, some more exotic places around the world too. But my yeah. shark dive trip cost me almost ten grand between uh, needed things and equipment and how about going how about going to France? There's a lot of nice places. Listen, have France. you ever been to the Steinhardt Aquarium in San Francisco? Yes. yes. Well yes. you could have just stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And jumped uh, in. Yeah. And the sharks would have accepted them. They like their own. Imagine you walk in on a tour, you see Phil in the shark tank. Is that <laughs> man? I'm gonna be in Monterey. <laughs> Next week I'm gonna be in Monterey for a Sunday and Monday. And uh, we're uh, we're staying two blocks from the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and uh, I'm I'm going. Ha my computer is getting set up down there. I thought, I, I thought that that Motel Six kicked you, you out for being loud. I stayed the comfort in. <laughs> Don't take a shower. Nah, I'm staying at the Monterey Parks uh, Hotel and Spa. <laughs> I was oh. going to say that's what that sounded like you were being. At. Yeah, exactly. I I'll love it. Down a Razor Room. Yeah, uh, yeah, you should. You should come oh. on by. Now, before we before we sign off, before we sign off here, we have to check in on Charlie's shirt. What does it say? Oh, it's weird being the same age as old people. You're right. You're right. It's very weird. You know, I wake up in the morning and look over at Marjorie and I go, "I'm sleeping with an old lady." You know, so. <laughs> and and lucky to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. she's in better she's shape than most. She's better shape than most ladies her age. Although she is. At least falling. we know she doesn't like the French kiss. What? Oh yeah. At least we know she doesn't like the French kiss. <laughs> well, that was big. in the last episode. In the other episodes, we were yeah, French yeah, kissing all the time in those videos. Well, that's because they got demonetized the last time they. No, French well, I I like to do the French kissing because people kind of get put exactly. off by that so you know i like making people uncomfortable you know so but uh, anyway well, let's all hear it for steve his spots sound great his voice sounds great yeah, on those yeah. uh, you know have you, uh, job. Have you when are we going to drink wine steve uh that's a good question <laughs> next week would be great well let's not encourage alcoholism and others um <laughs> anyway he actually invited me he invited you? Yep. Oh, okay. He said, don't bring Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Took the words out of my well, mouth. Well, that's a, that's a given, Phil. Come on. <laughs> you know. You're <laughs> using you know. ah, we like I like Steve. Steve's a yeah. good guy. We're going over to Phil's house. Well, just don't tell Phil. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tony <laughs> says he's coming. We keep. Uh, I keep telling him that we're going to chop him up, put him in a 55-gallon drum of lie, <laughs> and... Uh, Come on out, you know. Yeah. I'll buy you dinner, Tony, if you come out. We'll take you somewhere nice. Yeah. You know, actually, the drum. Brian, who calls this show, said, you come out to San Francisco for a week, and I will take a week off and drive you around. Because I was saying, how get in his car. Huh? You couldn't get out of his car. Oh, I see. Yeah. Where's he going? Yeah. I think it's a great deal. Yeah. 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 That's a nice thing. Anyway, hey, that's about it for tonight. Uh, it's been another wonderful jam session here uh and uh it, th th thank we didn't really get that much into george santos yet but we can do that tomorrow night thank you phil appreciate it as always especially spending the first half hour with us jeff always good to see you mm -hmm. uh the uh, lovely and attractive alan thank you charlie wonderful uh, uh tony hey mm -hmm. tony I know it looks yeah, it looks weird. Uh, anyway, Steve, always good to have you here. 
And uh, thank you. And Kevin, of course, uh, I always like seeing your shining countenance. I feel like it's, it's Christmas every day of the week. <laughs> anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And there they go. And let me see here. Let me just uh, uh, put my face up here. There we go. There they go. And I hit the end meeting for all. So that will be okay. And we'll uh, be back here again tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Night, everybody. Night, everybody.